Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to know when you start out with game development in Unity uh, is the general structure of a project file. So a project file is actually in the form of a folder with Unity. So with Flash, um, you'll get an FLA file, and that's just a single file that you can take and move around. Uh, with Unity, you'll have to um, work with entire folders, and that folder has um, two uh, main folders inside it, Assets and Library, and when Unity's running, also a temporary folder, uh, and you'll see that in a moment. So let's go ahead and launch Unity for the first time. And what you need to be aware of here is that by holding down the Alt key on your keyboard, that's the same for Mac and PC, um, most of the Unity stuff is all exactly identical now, um, you'll be able to get up the project wizard. So if you select the executable icon, same in Windows as Mac, uh, hold down Alt and then double click it to launch. What you'll see here is I've got my project wizard. Now you can either use that to open a project or to create a new project. Uh, and you can see there I've got a list of uh, previous projects that I've worked with. Um, so I've also got create new project, which is what we're gonna do right now. So when you create a new project, it gives you a list of um, assets that you can bring in when creating the project. So you could start out with a completely empty project and only bring in your own assets, so graphics, 3D models, sounds, etc. Or you can use some of the ones that Unity Technologies provide for you. So in my version, I've got Pro and Standard and Tune Shading assets. Uh, I'm just going to untick Pro and only include Standard assets for this example. So the reason for that is um, you might have just downloaded the free version. You might only have access to Standard assets. So we want to all be working from the same example. The next thing is to tell it where to save this new set of folders, this new project. And what you can do there is either type it in if you know the exact directory of where you want to save it, um, or you can just use the set button to bring up um, your operating system window and tell it where to save. So because it's a folder, you'll need to create a folder in order to actually save this. So if I wanted to create it on the desktop, I'd select the desktop, I'd go to new folder, and I'd type in the name of my project like that. So I'd say my first Unity project. Uh, and that's going to be the name of the folder and it's going to be the name of the Unity project because the, the Unity project and the folder it's all in are one and the same. So if I choose that folder, you can see it's placed it into the directory um, text field there. And as soon as I hit create project, what it's going to do is find that standard package and go through all of the assets and decompress them, so take them out of the Unity package format we'll talk about uh, at a later date, and ex export them into the folder that we've just made. And what you'll see in a second is that all of those different assets are getting placed into the Assets folder here. So this Assets folder is being filled with another folder called Standard Assets, and in that there's many different things that you can use um, to start your project. So whilst Unity loads, oh, there it is, um, what we can do is just compare this and another panel. So in the Assets folder, we've got Standard Assets, and you'll notice that's the same as the Project window. So if I flip over to Unity now, I can look in the Project window, and I'll notice that they're all exactly the same as the Assets panel, uh, Assets folder even. So the Assets folder is there to allow you to import things as well. So if I wanted to import a file into my Unity project, I simply need to go into the folder for it, go into Assets, and put my file into there. That way when I switch back to Unity, it'll automatically be imported. Um, likewise, you can also say Assets, Import New Asset. That does the same function from inside Unity. But most users will find it quite easy just to place something in their operating system into the assets folder and switch back. Um, so that's that's all for this one. That's the folder structure. So just to remind you, you've got assets and library. Temp whilst Unity is running, but if I close this Unity project by quitting, you'll notice that the temp folder disappears and I've just got my first Unity project assets. And of course I can place any new assets I want into there whilst Unity's closed. When I reopen it again, they'll be imported and all of the existing assets will be checked through again. So the library 
um, lists all of the different links between objects in all the different scenes that you create. But we'll come on to talk about those in a moment. <laughs> 